Hello, so this is my Zaccone Riviera. I'm about to make an espresso with it, and I thought I'd just show everybody how I do. Uh, I'm still learning to use this lever machine, but I do like it. I'm not sure that this pressure is correct, but it is up to pressure. It's, it's hot already. Uh, the indicator switch is flipped off. So this will be ready to make an espresso in just a second. Step two is gonna be getting the beans. Blend that I already put together based on the suggestion of the, uh, the person that I bought the green beans from. Uh, I roasted these uh, individually and then I blended them together afterwards. I've uh, already weighed out 8 grams, that's how much I'm going to grind up for me. And I'm going to use my Zazenhaus coffee grinder here. This actually does pretty good. I just made an espresso shot with it a minute ago and it was pretty slow going. So either uh, the grind is too fine, which I don't think is necessarily the case, but it's possible. Or I had too much in there. I went with nine grams. I'm going to go with eight this time for a single, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So since it's already measured, I can just dump it right on in, and I'm going to grind it, which I don't think I can do one-handed. So I'm going to have to cut. But I'll be back in just a minute after this is ground. Pretty fine powder there. I don't know if you can see quite how fine that is, but it's it's pretty good, um, and it looks pretty consistent and even. So hopefully that's going to be fine. I mean, it's been making pretty good espresso before. Uh, I was fortunate enough that I found this this canning funnel that is exactly the same size as my uh, filter basket here. So it fits right inside and it makes it a lot easier for me to to put the uh, espresso in there. I usually, I also have a sifter that I like to use on top of it, but that's a little hard to do one-handed. So for now I'm just going to put this little booklet over the corner and shake it out into there. And... And I'll tamp it down in just a minute once I get that all in there. It's mostly inside the center. Um, there's, you know, a little bit on the outside, but this is easy to brush in. And it, it, it's, it, it all pretty much stays. Uh, I'm just going to even that out a little bit. And I usually like to give it a couple of taps just to make sure that it's off of the edges. Now this is just ever so slightly narrower, so it's inside. And uh, now, because it is slightly inside the edges there, uh, because it, it's uh, indented in, you can't really see it with the table in the background. Maybe if I put a black background underneath it. There we go. So now I just usually level this out with my finger a little bit, and then I'll tamp it with uh, a homemade copper tamper that is a nice way it sits right on top of it and does a pretty good job. So this is a little harder to do one-handed, but we're we're just about even. I'm probably losing a little bit of the grounds, and I'm just gonna set that on top. I do uh, a pretty light tamp. I don't push down very hard. I usually use both hands too, um, and I try to keep it about even, and just make sure it's even all the way around. Uh, this is a little sloppier than normal, just because. Um, I'm doing it one-handed. Usually I would have a less grounds on the outside. But there we go. Not too much pressure on there. It's a nice, pretty solid puck. I'm going to set this right inside my portafilter. And next step is making the espresso. Put the portafilter in. I'll pull the lever down part way, and that, that gives a little bit of clearance inside there. It also helps prevent there from being a vacuum before I lock the... Uh, Porta filter in place. If you do this now and then push down on it, it's going to suck up and it could disturb the puck. So I'm going to do that. Let's we'll see if I can do it with the hand that's holding the camera. So we're about halfway down. Locked my porta filter in place. And now we're ready to make the shot. All right, here we go. Let's see how it comes out. So I'm going to pull down the lever all the way for, for pre-infusion. And I usually keep it here for, you know, about 10 seconds or so. Nothing's coming out yet, which I think is supposed to be the way it goes. And just a little bit of a drip there. And it's been like 10 seconds or so. And we'll let it go and see how it comes out. So it's very slowly rising. I think that maybe I had it on too fine of a setting. Uh, I'm not going to do a Fellini press. I'm just doing a single... Uh, pull and shot of the espresso. Get a little bit blurry here. And the 
it's almost done. That's it. It's pretty much all the way up at the top now. So this is about a week old um, roast, and it still makes a okay crema. It's a lot thinner than it was when I first used it. Um, we'll put something underneath that, and now we got to do the taste test. Of course, this is really the most important part. So uh, cheers. That's really nice. Um, it's not super bitter. It tastes really good. There's a lot of notes of like a nuttiness to it. Um, a little bit of smoke. Um, I have a couple of different roast levels on those beans. So anyway, I think it came out pretty good. I think that there's room for improvement. I think with the when when I finally have this bottomless portafilter uh, finished in metal and put in place, it'll make a uh, it'll make for a better. Uh, espresso and I'll be able to diagnose even better if it's uh, working quite right. This filter is close, the porta filter is really close. The little dimples that lock this in place don't quite fit inside. Um, so it's a little tight on the inside and then after casting I'm afraid that it's going to get a little bit shrunk as well so there might be some work to be done on it but so far I'm pretty pleased with the with this whole machine. Um, Makes fantastic tasting espresso, fantastic tasting cappuccino. I'm gonna finish this now. They're really short. I don't know how much that is. It's probably close to three quarters of an ounce. Um, but it tastes good, and I'm 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 happy with the amount that comes out of it. Even the double, it, it doesn't make more liquid. It just you have to do a second press. But if you do that. I've read that you might disturb the puck, and it, it ends up coming. It, it changes the flavor. Um, so this is this is fantastic, though a single shot. I just uh, have a few tweaks I think I have to make to my technique, but so far I'm I'm happy.